what do you think of when you see that toll booth scene again? I try not to. It was pretty scary. <laughs> I mean, I'd be honest with you. If if there were no girls on this set, I wouldn't have done it. What do you mean? No, because there were girls there. I had to do it. What am I gonna? You know, I got an image here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, oh, yeah, man. I did it. He, he put 147 scripts on me mm -hmm. in my jacket. Now, these scripts are they're brass with gunpowder in the middle of this little V that they cut into this one-inch long piece of brass and put a, a, a sack of blood over the top of that V, and they sew it into your clothes. And... They have to make sure they're pointing out because it blows the material out. It blows everything out. Mm -hmm. And they actually use those very same squibs on the car. They they put them in the car and put Bondo over it and paint it. Mm -hmm. So it's strong enough to blow the Bondo out of the car, you know, when they fire it. And they fire it by putting a nail on this nail board, by putting a nail that's attached to another electrical thing. And each time it makes contact with another nail, it... it each nail represented one of the plugs, so we had over like five thousand, mm. uh, all told, or a couple thousand. I forgot what it was in the car and mm -hmm. in, the, in the car and in the in the, in the booth, and, and uh, so I, <laughs> like I say, I wouldn't. It it was pretty hairy, so it had to be like a, a dance, you know, music. You had to get your hands moving. Right. Certain way, because it would blow a hole in your hand. And like I said, the girls would make me do that. <laughs> James Kahn, you are uh, the best for doing this. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, you're one of my favorites. This movie is truly my favorite, um, it, certainly in the genre. And, um, Could and, you get me a job hanging out with you guys? Anytime. Anytime you Straighten want to. out your picks and everything. Oh, yeah. You could, we, we could figure it out. For the First thing I want to do is get Baker, Mayster. Who's going to take this poor guy? I don't know. I, I, I'll i tell you what, James. It, it strikes me as he might have to either go to Seattle or wait it out after the draft to see who will take Seattle, him. Seattle, I think, is all that's left. But I think there was like – there were two guys out of the whole league that might have made a play for him when he was threatening to leave. Right. And then you look, he's had 57 interceptions in four years. You know, it's like, oh, well. I know. I have no idea, but we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll stay in touch. We'll have you back on whenever you want, and I uh, appreciate you spending time on such a momentous occasion. All right. Say hi to all the guys. Say hi to the boomer. I haven't seen him either. And uh, I will do that. And, I love uh, it. You, you take care of yourself, James Kahn. You so right back at care. you. Thanks again. That's James Kahn right here on the Rich Eisen Show on the 50th anniversary of The Godfather. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.